Welcome to Critical Political History, where we talk about critical political history. While everybody knows about the Clinton Lewinsky scandal, or more famously, the cigar from the Clinton Lewinsky scandal, there is another presidential sex scandal that predates this one and is even a bigger shocker in its extreme details. The president responsible for the scandal is Grover Cleveland, who is both the 22nd and the 24th U.S. president. If you didn't know who Grover Cleveland was, he is the only president to have served two non-consecutive terms. Our story starts on the evening of December 15, 1873, when a woman walking to her friend's house named Maria Halpin ran into a 37-year-old Grover Cleveland. He invited her to dinner and was apparently very persistent about it. Maria is said to have been intimidated by Cleveland's size, who was six feet tall and chunky. They went out to dinner, and that went well, so afterwards, Cleveland walked Halpin home to her room at the downtown boarding house. Once they got back to her room, Grover Cleveland raped her. She threatened to call the police, and reportedly, Cleveland told her he was determined to ruin her, even if it cost him $10,000, even if he was hanged by the neck for it. Halpin then and there told him that she never wanted to see him again and commanded him to leave her room, which he did. Six weeks after the incident, Halpin discovered that she was pregnant. Cleveland was like, I ain't trying to take care of no baby, so he arranged for the child to be forcibly removed from Halpin and given to an orphanage. Getting rid of the baby wasn't enough for Cleveland, however, so he had Maria Halpin thrown in a lunatic asylum. Once she got there, they ran an evaluation test, and it obviously showed that Halpin was in fact not mentally brain dead, but was thrown in the asylum via abuse of power. Cleveland ascended through the political ranks, and his altercation with Maria Halpin did not resurface until his campaign for the presidency in 1884. Once people started catching wind of what had happened in that dark bedroom, Grover Cleveland got his people to convince everyone that Halpin was a plaything who drank excessively. Cleveland did, however, take responsibility for the child's conception. The PR twisted this too, however, saying that his indifference to the boy was due to doubts about his fatherhood. Grover Cleveland was later elected president and Maria Halpin died in 1902 with $200 to her name and a sex scandal that loomed over her head her whole life. So next time someone brings up a presidential sex scandal that they think is the worst, remind them of Grover Cleveland and his mischievous behavior. This has been Critical Political History and remember, if you ever have a one night stand and the girl won't leave you alone afterwards, you can always send her to the loony bin.